Hey, how's it going everybody? It's your bro here. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, we're going to be discussing overloaded functions in C++. And at the end of this video, we're going to be using overloaded functions to bake some pizzas. So let's get into it. Before you reach the end of this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that we together can challenge and defeat the mighty YouTube algorithm. So basically speaking, overloaded functions is this concept that you can reuse a function's name as long as it has different parameters set up. And for this example, I have two functions both named bake pizza, and this is legal because each of these has different parameters. This first function accepts one argument as string bread, and the other has two parameter setup that accepts two arguments, bread and a sauce. So this is actually legal then, but if these two parameters for each of these functions was the same, this would result in errors then. So let's try and compile this and run it. So it says there were build errors. Would you like to continue? No, I don't. So this obviously doesn't work, but if we were to have different parameters set up, this is actually legal then. And you can see that it's already compiling with no problems, although it doesn't do anything yet. So let's create a program where we will have different overloaded functions and we can pass in varying amounts of ingredients as arguments. So let's begin fresh then. Let's create a few variables related to pizzas. So we'll we need a bread of some sort and we'll assign this later, the values to each of these variables. We'll need a string, sauce, string, cheese, no pun intended, string and a topping. All right, now let's create four different functions all named bake pizza. So let's begin with a function that takes all four ingredients as arguments. So this won't return anything. We'll just say void bake pizza. Then for the parameters, we're going to set up four different fields, string bread, comma, string sauce, string cheese, and string topping. And then maybe we'll just display all the ingredients. So maybe we'll just see out here is your, then we'll list all the ingredients for this pizza. See out bread. I'll probably add a space between these two. See out sauce space see out cheese and lastly see out what was it a topping yeah and then we'll just display the word uh, pizza here at the end so pizza okay so that should be good then now we just need to uh, copy this and then we're going to create a, another function with the same name but a different set of parameters like this one uh, won't have any toppings at all so we'll just take that out and we'll take that out here as well all right then we'll copy this paste it again and this time we will take out the cheese then and seriously who orders pizza without cheese all right and then just plain bread, I guess, which is kind of silly. All right, so we have four overloaded functions with uh, for this function name bake pizza then. So now we can actually pass in some ingredients, but we'll probably want to assign these. So for a bread, maybe we'll say thick crust. And for a sauce, I don't really know many sauce names, maybe marinara. Actually, red sauce is probably a more accurate term. Uh, mozzarella. I really don't know how to spell this. And then toppings. What about pepperoni? Okay, so we have a bunch of ingredients set up. Now we can call the bake pizza function and send basically any uh, of these values here as arguments. So let's say we only want bread sauce and cheese well this will actually pass all of these as arguments then and it will perform whatever uh, code is within each of these functions then so let's try it now so 
let me expand this a little bit. Here is your thick crust marinara mozzarella pizza. Now we can pass in the topping. But spell it right. Here is your thick crust marinara mozzarella pepperoni pizza. And then we could do just the bread too. Yep, here is your thick crust pizza. I just realized that I had a space before the word pizza, and I didn't feel like refilming this whole video just to go back and correct that. So basically, with overloaded functions, you can reuse the same function name as long as each of these functions has different parameters set up. So this is fairly convenient because you can just call one function and pass in varying arguments depending on what you need. So for our bake pizza example, we can send whatever ingredients we want, and we don't need multiple bake pizza functions, like we don't need bake pizza one, bake pizza two, bake pizza three, so on and so forth. We can just say bake pizza, and then pass in the arguments that we want. But yeah, that's the basics of overloaded functions. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post it in the comments down below. If you have a program that you're working on that involves overloaded functions, feel free to post that in the comments if you want to share it. But yeah, that's the basics of overloaded functions in C++. Hey you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learn something new, then you can help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.